Hey guys, I've got a friend that's into landscaping and water features and he was trying to find a, a way to turn off uh, water feature pumps at uh, night without the use of a timer. And he really couldn't find anything, you know, he, what he was looking for was something, you know, along the lines of a reverse photo. So, so I made this little circuit up to show him how it might be done. And uh, of course if you use this in the field you'd want to put it inside a waterproof box. Uh, or, or something like that, but basically how this works is instead of using a photocell to power our uh, our water feature pump, or in this case this light bulb, what we do is we use the the uh, uh, the photocell to power a relay that has a uh, that has a normally closed circuit. So what what we're doing through the day. Uh, we've got a normally closed circuit that keeps our device on, and then when the uh, uh, when the photocell engages, when it gets dark, um, we're sending the power that we would normally send to a light to this relay, and the relay opens the contacts so that our device uh, shuts off. So uh, we've had our glove over here on this uh, photocell for a few seconds, and uh, shortly this bulb should uh, should go off uh, as soon as the uh, photocell makes and there it goes and um, it's dark our pumps went off so you know we uh, take the glove off and it's getting light again sun's coming up so here in a here in a few seconds um, maybe 30 seconds the uh, our pump or our light bulb will come back on. So, you know, that's just one way you could do it. Like I said, you'd want to you'd want to find a little electrical box. A lot of these uh, hard, not hardware stores, but uh, um, supply houses, electrical supply houses, will have uh, uh, many different boxes uh, that you can choose from. Something that would uh, even a, even a uh, maybe an AC air conditioning disconnect box would would have has the all this stuff so you know it's so our, our lights come back on uh, now the photo cell's been uncovered so anyway uh, that here's a, another relay that would do the same thing we call this a little peanut relay but what, you, you have to make sure when, that the the coil on your relay uh, is, is for 124 volts um, or 120 volts. This is, a, I always say 24 volts because I'm an air conditioning guy, but um, most of these peanut relays that we run across in the field will be uh, 24 volts and uh, a lot of fan relays are 24 volts, but uh, you have to make sure it's 120 20 volts because uh, you can't send 120 volts from a from a photo cell to a uh, you know to a 24 volt relay. So another thing to keep in mind is um, both of these relays, this one and this one as well, uh, have uh, 12 full load amps. That's 12 FLA. It's, that's that's not a lot. You're not going to run a, a lot of big pumps with that. So uh, what you could do is is use the relay to like instead of powering this uh, this light, uh, there, you could hook a like a 120 volt contactor. Uh, down line from this from this relay so uh, this would just power a contactor uh, instead that, that could carry you know 30 40 amps if if you needed uh, to do a bigger job with it so anyway uh, thanks for watching I appreciate it bye